Hello, my name is Ryan Avery with Schneider Optics, and we are here in Los Angeles, California today to show you the Schneider Cine Xenar Cinema Lenses. So people often ask the question, why would you want a prime lens? Why not just use a zoom or even a DSLR style prime of a smaller, less than purpose built one? The reason for this is that prime lenses are purpose built for the application at the focal length that they're at. So this is the Schneider Cine Xenar lens. This is a 25 millimeter mounted on a Canon 7D. You'll notice about the Cine Xenar lenses that they are all the exact same height at the starting position and starting focus at infinity. They are all the same height. So this way, if you have a follow focus or any other types of uh, accessories, they will all be in the same position when you start to set up of a lens. So if you do lens changes, you can change quickly without too much hassle. On the front here, we have the iris which uh, this particular lens is a T2.2. The rest of the set is either T2.1 or T2.0, so the uh, aperture stays constant throughout the set. The scale here, this one goes to 16, and it's marked on both sides, so you can, no matter what side of the camera you're on, or if you're operating the camera from the underneath side or the top side, you can always rotate the lens to wherever you want to view your marks. The focus is in the back, and the focus you rotate here, and you will notice that the lens extends in length here at the base when you rotate. This is an external lens design, and the reason that Schneider did this was for cost savings. These lenses are designed to perform at a very high level, much higher than the price that we charge, and therefore they, they had to make an exception somewhere in the design, and we made them external focus. There are wide follow focus gears available, as well as map box rings, flexible map box rings to accommodate this travel. So it should be a minimal issue. The focus and iris are reversed from a normal cinema lens. So the iris is in the front and the focus is in the back because this is a telecentric lens design. The telecentric lens design provides even illumination, but to, in order to achieve this optical design, you have to have the iris in front. So, Rather than spend complicated mechanics reversing the two for a normal cinema lens setup, we left the iris in front. The even illumination of the telecentric means that an even light of path of light strikes the sensor, so all corners of the sensor are evenly illuminated, giving you the best possible image quality. All Schneider Cine Xenar lenses feature a 0.8 pitch gear thread on the, on the iris and the focus, so it'll accept a standard follow focus. On the front of the lens, the lenses have a 104 millimeter outside diameter. This 104 millimeter is available from most man, matte box manufacturers, so if you have a matte box and you need a donut for it, you can easily find it. We've also done something which is fairly unique to our lenses. We have threaded the inside. Most cinema lenses do not have threads on the inside, so we have threaded these with a 102 millimeter thread so that they can be uh, attached with simple filters if you don't have a mount box or your application doesn't require it. The Schneider Cine Xenar lenses are a little bit larger and heavier than they're used to. They weigh in at about approximately five pounds a piece. The reason for this is that they have a lot of glass in there, a lot of metal, our competitors, some of our competitors' lenses are simply rehoused SLR lenses, so they're much lighter weight, which is better for handheld applications. But for maximum image quality, we went with a slightly larger, heavier design, uh, very heavy duty, uh, purpose built for professional use. This is a Schneider digital cinema lens. A lot of people ask us the question, why would we want a digital cinema lens of any type? Standard SLR lenses are lighter weight. They're designed for autofocus. And therefore, because they're designed for autofocus, they have a much shorter travel on the focus. You will notice that the focus to go from infinity all the way to close focus on this lens is several rotations of the barrel. It's a full 300 degrees. That enables you to get fine-tuned focus without jumping around. And a lens that's designed for autofocus 
It does a great job of autofocusing, but when you're in manual mode, you cannot get that fine-tuned focus because the difference between infinity and, say, four feet away can be as little as a quarter of an inch or even less. So this is why we have long travel on the cinema lenses. The cinema lenses also include a built-in gear pitch. So there's no need to use any type of clamp-on gear if you want to use a follow focus. This prevents the chance of slipping or other issues that can come up if you're using a lens that's not designed for the purpose for which it's intended. The Schneider Cine Xenar lenses are purpose-built for digital cinema from the ground up, and they show in both the, the, the mechanical design and the optical design. And that was the Schneider Cine Xenar lenses. Thank you for watching Digital Cinema Course. For more information, please visit our website at www.digitalcinemacourse.com. And that was the Schneider Cine Xenar lenses. Thank you for watching Digital Cinema Course.